Yo, what's going on everybody? Charlie checking in. Happy Saturday to every single one of you, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed my uh, one chip challenge. Jeez, I didn't know what the hell it was. Hopefully y'all enjoyed my one chip challenge that I slayed yesterday, man. Absolutely killed it. I didn't think that it was going to be that easy. But, oh, I got to tell you guys, man, by 3 o'clock this morning, it wasn't so easy, man. It came out hard and hot. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, man, I'm sitting here chilling at my new place, man. Um, so like I said, I had to leave Lisa's. I'll show you guys around a little bit. I won't show you too much. Um, Cause uh, you did some people out there. There's some of y'all out there I know what y'all up to, so. But um, yeah, I had to give Lisa and her family peace of mind, you know. Um, this is just temporary until I can get some money up and gone. Not know where I'm going, but I'm going. I'm going somewhere. Life is good and that's really, that's really all I got to say right now. So hang tight and let's see what we can't get into today. Beautiful Saturday morning watching Roseanne. Yes, nice Roseanne marathon going on. I'm waiting for this Halloween marathon to start. I think they say you can look up, it's like a TV Land app or something like that. That um, that uh, you can watch all the Roseanne, like the, all, the, all the Roseanne Halloween stuff. So um, look that up so I can watch some Halloween Roseanne. I don't know. Oh my goodness, man. I gotta tell you that. <laughs> I don't normally get like I, I don't normally get the hot guts or the hot poops from from eating this hot stuff, but this chip has tore me up, man. I'm not even kidding. Let's see if we get some light in here. Get some light in here. That chip has tore me up, man. Started about 5:30 or not 5:30, about three o'clock this morning, man. And about five different times, just whew, got me good. So uh, yeah, man. I'm telling you guys, if you try this one chip. Uh, um, please uh, uh, exercise caution because it is no joke. <laughs> so, anyway, once you guys want to see my room, here's my room. Here we go. That's my that's my that's my closet. No, let me see. Here's my closet. We got anything in here? I haven't even opened this yet. Okay, so I could put all my stuff in my closet. Don't really have a bed or nothing right now, but you know what? <clears throat> it's not about material things. Yeah, I shop at Goodwill. So what, man? Who does it? And a lot of people shop at Goodwill. I don't need material things, man. It's all about, you know, what I do have and how I appreciate what I do have, you know. And like I say, man, you know, I had to get out of my friend's leases, leases, you know, damn. It was just so unfortunate and cruel, you know, that people, damn, leaked her address. And I'm going to go ahead and be candid about it, man. What happened was somebody found her address the day that I got there. And I didn't tell anybody. I was being quiet about it, you know. Somebody found her address the day I got there. Somebody also, one person called her mother, and then somebody else called her children's side of the family and told them a whole bunch of stuff like I was a pedophile, that I was a crackhead, this, that, and the third. So, you know, I had to get out of there. You know, I mean, she didn't believe it, but her family and stuff was like, you know, what the hell is up with people calling us fucking around? They didn't, they weren't, they weren't so much on the fact that, you know, what people claimed that I did. As it was just strangers approaching them with with certain dramas, you know, so uh, really shows, you know, what kind of people out there, you know, wanted to ruin and destroy a fucking family, you know, uh, and then we turn around and try to claim that I did it, <laughs> you know, so anyway, no, Lisa, thank you so very much, you know, I sent her out. Uh, a message on Facebook, you know, saying thank you and everything that she would always, you know, be a friend of mine. And she wrote back, you know, that I've always got a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? If anything ever happens and stuff, people try to kick me out or I got nowhere else to go, that I can always come back there and she'll always help me out. So such great, wonderful friends like Lisa. Uh, and then what else? Okay, so here's what else happened, man. Um, so I was trying to figure out a place to go. You know, somebody else said that they had me, you know, the day that I was going to leave, they came back and screenshots, this, that, and a third, you know, so obviously they weren't genuine and legit, you know, and, 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 uh, in their words and their approach. So boom, next thing you know, I'm sitting here, damn, no, with nowhere to go. I'm like, what the hell, you know? So I called a friend of mine in Arkansas and he was going to let me come stay there. I was pretty much talking about getting it all set up and everything, you know, and then like at the last freaking minute, um, and I'll be honest, man, the last minute, somebody that I really didn't hardly kind of, didn't really even know, honestly, you know, I mean, we talked a couple times, you know, but like once or twice, you know, over the past year, you know, this person, they don't, you know, they don't really respond to comments and they don't buy into all that crap, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, but they've got social media and everything, you know, so, um, but I didn't even really know the person, you know what I mean? We rarely talked, you know, and they said, Hey, we got a spot here. Do you want to come? 
And you know, in a leap, in a leap of faith, I said yes. And boom, here I am, dude. And nobody knows where I am. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. So y'all know it's not Lisa's house. You know, so y'all can leave that poor family alone. And, uh, and yeah, I'll just show you a little, bit, a little bit what I'm getting into. I've got to get, I've got to get some child support money today. Send off a payment. Um, maybe get some groceries. Um, I don't know, maybe buy a Universal Studios ticket. We're going to Universal Studios. We're still fucking going. <laughs> no one's going to stop that for me this year. I don't think so. I don't think anyone's going to stop my, uh, my moment of going to damn Universal Studios. And I can't wait. All right, let me read y'all guys my reading today. Day 190, Reflection on Success. It says, uh, Success means we go to sleep at night knowing that our talents and abilities were used in a way that served others. We're compensated by grateful looks in people's eyes. Whatever material abundance supports us in performing joyfully and at a high energy and the magnificent feeling that we did our bit today to save the world. Our work should spread love. Our store should spread love. Our technology should spread love. The key to successful career is realizing that it's not separate from the rest of our lives, but is rather an extension of our own, of our most basic self, and our most basic self is love. So pretty much today, man, is all about being successful through happiness and spreading love to others, and uh, that's what I try to do on a daily basis. Like I say, man, there's so many people that are attacking me and spreading false information and stuff like that, you know, but I get up every single day with a smile on my face and a hope in my heart, you know what I'm saying, that uh, the day is going to be well, not just for me, but for other people that see me struggle right there, so... Um, that's what I do it for. Uh, love and success comes with love. I believe that 100,000%. All right, so I'm sitting here watching The Walking Dead. There's a marathon going on right now. Got to catch up. New season tomorrow. Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah, it's on AMC. <laughs> All right, so I'm sitting here watching The Walking Dead on AMC marathon. Catching back up. Uh, I think I stopped watching it after like season four or something like that. This is season six. So there's a couple of seasons I kind of missed. But uh, man, I'm enjoying it, man. I'm, I feel like I'm back into Walking Dead. And I'm ready for this uh, new season tomorrow. So that was a dumb. I don't I hate it. Ooh, look at that. Like, jeez. Okay. So like all this is new to me, okay? Because like I stopped watching after, like I said, a couple of seasons or whatever. And yeah, so I was just thinking, man, how lucky would it be? How, how lucky do you, would you feel, man, to just see these like it was all new to you again, you know? Because it's all new to me right now. This is Michonne. Yeah. Who, who, who's that guy on the right? So yeah, really not too much going on today, man. You just kick back, you know, like, oh, lay back, and it's raining. Look at that. Ooh. I don't say too much, man. Trying to keep my shots kind of contained around here. <laughs> Because people trying to find me and crap like that, trying to leak out my address and stuff like that, you know. It's really, really crazy stuff, you know. What well, my life has become, <laughs> you know. Uh, like I said, I'm just lucky to, I'm thankful to get out of Lisa's house, you know, and and get all that heat off of her, you know what I mean? Because she didn't deserve that, her family didn't deserve that, and um, nobody deserves that, you know. The people that I'm with right now, they don't deserve it neither, you know, so... Uh, that's why I've been keeping keeping it quiet, keeping it low, and uh, um, yeah, yeah, just having fun. <laughs> like so, we've been sitting here watching The Walking Dead, Roseanne, and uh, yeah, having a, having a ball. Like I say about the, about The Walking Dead, man. Um, okay, I'm gonna come clean with you guys, man. I was always like, oh, it's because of the governor, it's because of the, they killed the governor, is why I don't like The Walking Dead anymore, right? But. That's only kind of partly true, you know what I'm saying? I like the governor, but you know what I'm saying? I could accept the fact that he was, you know, that he, that he passed. You know, they took him off the show. He was kind of fucked up anyway, but, uh, you know, it was like a show that me and my baby's mom watched together, you know? I don't know if any of y'all like that, you know, if you had, if you had something that's this damn game. Let me step out. If you had anybody, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that you watched something with, y'all y'all did something together, things together, and and it kind of, you kind of, it kind of reminds you of that person, you know, so... Uh, that's how it was with me, you know, every time I watched The Walking Dead, it reminded me of my ex and stuff, and the good times we shared, you know, so I couldn't watch the show for a long time, you know, um, but, you know, here recently in this whole retooling process and, and looking at my life differently and, 
from the world around me, you know, I, I, I've come to realize, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you, you, resentments that you can resolve, you know, that uh, 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 you work through, and and um, you, certain things that you just, you know, you let go and you move on, you know, and uh, it's like uh, you just keep walking. <laughs> That's all. That that was my metaphor today. I was watching the show, man, and my life and everything, you know, and 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 the past. Uh, you gotta, you gotta let, let the dead die and just keep walking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, man. I'm in a new spot, man. Lay low. Laying low to the ant like I'm Paul Wall. Anyway, that was bad. Excuse me. I apologize so very much for that. <laughs> but, yeah, man, just laying low. You know, don't nobody know where I'm at. I'm just I'm happy to just keep it that way, you know. But, like I said, we're still going to go out and do some fun stuff. Um... Uh, the right way. I'll make sure the shots can take. Like I said, there's people, man, they'll stop and look at, you know, uh, street signs. I'll try to get street signs out. And then they're stopping and looking like decals on vehicles and crap, man. It gets really deep, you know. So, um, hopefully you understand. A lot of you understand where I'm coming from. And uh, also, I want to give a shout out, man. I went ahead and got me some moderators for my channel, man. I got about four of them going for me right now. And uh, they're really kind of cleaned up the joint a little bit, man. Like I said, you know, I don't mind you know, uh, positive, positive uh, feedback, you know, if it's bad or whatever, and it's positive and it's astute and, you know, and it's well thought out and that's fine, you know, but, you know, my channel has become like a breeding ground just for trolling, you know, and um, um, just, just, it's just become very toxic, you know, and, and uh, so I, I've gotten a couple people to go through there and help me out, so I didn't even read, I stopped, I stopped reading the comments, you know, um, but it was nice to be able to go on there today and actually see some good, some good comments and stuff to me and I was able to respond back and talk with some of you guys so um, that's awesome man uh, appreciate every single one of you man right there man you guys are mwah, great uh, I've also heard that maybe I can't use Wolfpack or somebody else that has Wolfpack <laughs> so I mean I don't know I, you know I don't know it doesn't matter like I said I don't try to keep you guys uh, make you guys a cliche you know what I'm saying a name for you you know what I'm saying y'all are all just my people and I love you all so very single much man so uh I'm going to leave it with this, man. I'm going to continue watching some Walking Dead. Uh, episode 100 tomorrow, man. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the fire is lighted back inside of me for the Walking Dead, man. I'm, and, and I'm just so thankful. Just The fire in life, man, is just is just sparked back in me, you know. Like I say, damn, here at this new place where can't nobody just really mess with me, you know. And I, I can actually, you know, be happy and do, do things, you know, and uh, not worry about... Um, you know other people you know being affected because of me so thank you all for watching and I'll holler at y'all tomorrow peace